Hey guys, welcome to Cactus Jerk. I am Cactus Jerk and uh, this is Claw. This is the Uwe Kahle hybrid actually. I've only named it Claw in my collection. Like, this is the label. Freak is written on the, fl on the label and it basically describes this beautiful flower very well. Yeah, I need to collect pollen. So let me just get some brushes and we get started because the whole greenhouse is full of flowers. Check out, check it out. These all need to be pollinated and uh, yeah, I don't have much time. All right. Um, yeah, I brought me my, my, little, my little box of treasure and lots of brushes and I will collect pollen now. Claw has so much pollen, so it isn't a problem. Let me just zoom out a little bit. What a gorgeous hybrid. <coughs> I haven't pollinated any one of those yet. Um, I'm thinking one of them will probably get uh, super apricot. Because the offspring might look cool. The other one may be apricot glow. So this is going to be a little, um, a longer video because I only have these four flowers this year on, on claw. It's possible that there will be a second flower flush, but at this point I, I don't think so. And I just have to collect it for the crosses that I want to make in, during the rest of the season. Today I have lots of work. I I have like a few books that I need to need to uh, need to sign and and uh, pack to ship them out. They get picked up tomorrow, so I have lots and lots of work to do. But the flower work always has to come first because these plants flower once a year, and when I miss it, miss it. Then uh, it's another ye year of waiting, and yeah, it's just my job. My main job is to pollinate these, to take photos of these, and I can't miss that. Yeah, one of them. Super Aprico, another one, um, maybe Trichocero Schafferi, I don't know, it's, you know, Trichocero Schafferi is my super pollinator, it, it basically pollinates everything it touches and it is great, it has huge flowers and they are yellow and ruffled, but I don't know, I would love to... Uh, love to make more crosses with it like with with claw let me just see if there maybe could be another flower flush yeah there could be but it's it's not it's not certain possible but not very likely this year i had lots of plants that didn't flower that disappointed me greatly it's just sometimes it just happens I don't know. Adolf, Adolf von Bayer didn't flower this year and it doesn't look like it's going to flower. And I think the problem was that it was crooked in the pot. It was like leaning over and this is never good for a plant. As some, some hanging basket plants can grow like hanging, leaning over, growing growing prostrate but uh, yeah most cacti that are columnar cacti don't like being leaned over and, and leaning over 
hanging sideways that's just bad for the for the overall plan for the inner clock in these plans and yeah that might have been the reason that Adolf von Bayer didn't flower so well this year we'll see okay So this is my main pollination video of, of Claw. There will be another flower opening, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night. But these three are the main flush. It's a beautiful day today, apart from the like the the rain that comes every now and then, but right now you can see the sun and I'm very happy about it because it allows me to make videos with a good with good light that's not uh that's not always the case this time this year we had like rain every time when there was a major flower flush. I don't know if this is like if the plants flowered like to like to flower at a flower fl at, at when it's raining or if it was just happenstance just accidental but it bothered me because all the videos I had I I could take they were done in the greenhouse when there was a main flush and uh, I only have very limited ab ability to move in here I can move like in a, but you know, moving the camera around the plant is easier when it's done outside. Today I want to work with fresh pollen mostly. I have a few pollen types that I froze that I froze and which I will use but yeah uh, most of the crosses that I will do today will be with fresh pollen. I um I decided that most of the crosses that I make will be fresh like the ho for the whole season because it keeps your collection like you know the the crosses that you make when you when you collect pollen from one plant and freeze it and use it on almost all the plants in the season that's boring so when you when you work with what you have at the moment that's fresh at the moment it forces you to make new crosses new ideas every time and i like that idea you by doing that you make crosses that you would normally not make and I think that's a good thing. Some amazing hybrids were made with, they, they grew from crosses that normally, that don't sound super amazing on paper, but they just worked very well together. So it's never a bad thing to be spontaneous when making crosses. Okay, well, I will leave the rest of the pollen. There's another flower where I can collect pollen if I need some more. This is a crazy flower, right? I mean, look at look at the petals. These are crazy. This is my favorite hybrid from Uwe Kahle that I've seen recently. Okay, now we will start with the pollination. But first, um, I I will get a little bit of pollen for for later crosses. So 
Let me just see if there. Yeah, there's lots of pollen on these. This is good. So I just try to to put some pollen aside for later pollinations because once you have them pollinated it is no longer safe to use the pollen you can you can uh, have pollen from the from the father that you used ooh, 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 ooh. no 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 don't 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 you don't you fall my friend yeah you can contaminate your pollen Okay, no, a little bit more on this one. Yeah. Okay, so let's pollinate. Left one, this one will get super apricot. I have that one in the bag. Hopefully it has pollen. Yes, super apricot has a lot of pollen. And I'll pollinate this one with super apricot. Oh man, this pollen is not, this these brushes are totally broken. Oh. oh no, I can't work like this. I'm a professional. New brush. Okay. New brush. Super apricot. All right, so let me just label it and then I'll make another cross. Hey guys, I'm back. I ate a, cro a croissant, a croissant. Um, every time I eat croissants without drinking something, I start like getting hiccups. So if you would hear me hicking, you know what it is. Um, yeah, I was inside, got some pollen. Some more pollen. I wanna use fresh ones, but there are a few that I that I that I just have to make a few crosses, so I can't use all of them as fresh. So this is super apricot, and next one will be Trichocerois validus. It's a cross that I just have to make. It's like, you know, a life depth that you have. I just have to try crossing, crossing this with Trichocerois validus. I don't know if it will work, but it would be a spectacular hybrid. Okay. I want to pollinate a second time. Man, I really need to order me new brushes today. Really today. I can't wait any more, any longer. Not one day. Okay, so this is Trichocerois Validus. I check out my, my scissor. I broke my scissor. I just try to cut wire for like for the uh, for the label and this is what happened isn't this cheap garbage can't even use the the, the, the scissors like they're supposed to if you can't if you can't cut with a scissor what is the scissor good for like it's it's their only purpose in life scissoring and they and when they don't scissor it's really really annoying okay last one yeah what will we do with this one oh man hmm crazy right now the options are um trichocerois tunariensis which is open right now i want to show it to you because it's so beautiful yeah this is the one Super beautiful hybrid, super beautiful Trichocerois tunariensis hybrid. 
I could use that one. Yeah, or I could use my Ruffle Trifuzero Shafari, 20 centimeter yellow. Yeah, and I probably forget some too. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But um, I I think I will go with Trifuzero is too Nariensis. Maybe because it's open right now. Or an, I wanna... Man, I don't know. I don't know. I would also love to make a ruffled cross with this one. The possibilities are endless, you know. Hmm. It's frustrating when you only have very few flowers and you have to pick. Okay, I decided I will use a ruffled hybrid. I will use a ruffled uh, Uwe Kahle hybrid. Man, this is killing me. You know, it's killing me to use that I can, that I have to pick. I would love to make more crosses with, with this one. And I really need to propagate it. But yeah, when you propagate this one, it will probably stop uh, stop flowering and not flower for a year or two, maybe. And that would really bum me out. Okay, so this is um, a Gräsers Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung Hybrid by Uwe Kahle. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't get a lot of pollen, so this is the last pollen that I have from this plant. Yeah, and the last one will either get Trichoceros Schafferi or Trichoceros Tunariensis. I will collect pollen of Trichoceros Tunariensis today. So I will most likely be able to pollinate the other flower with fresh pollen too. All right, let's label it and then I gotta move on. I need to collect pollen of Trichoceros tunariensis because that flower seems like it's open, it's closing soon. So this is um, ruffled, ruffled uvocale hybrid, which is Gräser's Erfolg and Selbstbestäubung. Wait, I'll look it up. Just want to wrap this, wrap this around first before I kill it. Need to be kind of concentrated. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, the label is K. Nay, it's a <clears throat> it's a hybrid by Reinhard Liske, and it was raised by Uwe Kahle. It is R L eleven two two four one K A two. That's the father. All right, guys. So I gotta move on. If you want to support me, you can do it at patreon.com slash cactusjerk and you can get seeds at trichoceros.net. All right, take care.